Hi, I'm John Hamm, and one thing you might not know about me is that I'm almost two-thirds plastic. Yeah, my very first job as an actor was I must have been five years old, and I was uh, picked to play uh, Winnie the Pooh, and my mother sewed the costume, and uh, I put a pillow uh, on my stomach and tied it there with a belt and uh, put my little bear costume on and, and was Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the first movie I worked on was a movie called Early Bird Special, starring one Nick Offerman, actually. It had, I think, two lines in it. I played a character called Red-Headed Cop, uh, and I did not have red hair. So that's how good I was in it. Yeah, the audition process for Mad Men was, was, was really rather extensive. Uh, I started kind of at the bottom of everyone's list. The actual casting process took well over a month, and I had had drinks at the top of the Gansevoort Hotel. It was early spring, it was a beautiful day, and then in the elevator ride down from the top of the building, the, the lady in charge of, uh, of production at uh, AMC said, you, you got the part. And uh, obviously little did I know what it would, what it would lead to, and uh, here we are. Um, the pilot is obviously a pretty special episode for me because it was the beginning of all of this. What you call love was invented by guys like me to sell nylons. And then I can look to kind of deep into season four, but an episode called The Suitcase that was a sort of weird little bottle episode that explored the, the strangeness of, of that uh, relationship. And you should be thanking me every morning when you wake up, along with Jesus, for giving you another day. Oh, come on. I'm sorry about your boyfriend, okay? No, I didn't. It was the same hat, too. I gotta say, it was the, it was the same hat for, for all those many years. And uh, most of the stuff is rented, so it would be stealing. Uh, so I didn't really do that. It's no fun. It's like, it's like reading the last page of a book. I mean, I guess some people do that. I think there's a genuine desire to kind of know how it ends. But I think things that I, that I liked, that I watched, that ended, whether it's The Sopranos or The Wire or Breaking Bad, there's another one, I just watched the end of that one. You know, that very much felt like an ending, you know? And I, so I, I like that idea of ending this journey definitively. I hope people like it. You know, it was a, there were a lot of feelings to, to finishing a, a, a show that has run this long and been so significant in, um, in all of our lives, so it was obviously very emotional. And it's the last thing, so there was nothing else to do other than sort of break down the sets and, and, uh, and go home. Every, all good things come to an end, and, and this was certainly a good thing. And uh, so everybody was on set, and we all clapped and hugged and took pictures and, and, uh, and said goodbye.